Hi, how are you folks? Uh, my name is Mike Paquette. I'm with the Urban Grape today. Um, and we're going to do a little cocktail. Uh, we're going to be featuring a couple different um, aperitifs that will help that cocktail kind of brighten up and kind of settle your stomach down and relax you and get ready for your meal. Um, also, it's very delicious and citrusy and refreshing. So that will also help. Today, so first off, what you want to have available for yourself is uh, considered a Boston shaker, tall shaker, and a pint glass. Uh, that's how I like to shake. You can use your sh regular shaker that you have at home. Uh, one thing I will always suggest you have is a jigger. It, what it does it is it helps you get your counts right. Uh, I was taught to free pour it first, and that always made my cocktails unbalanced. Now I don't make a cocktail without a jigger because it comes out perfectly balanced every time. Helps you read recipes. It also helps you create recipes by balancing. Um, so first off, with this, we're going to do a champagne style uh, cocktail. Um, you never want to mix champagne. Obviously, there's bubbles and carbonation. If you put that in your shaker, expect your shaker to kick back and maybe hit someone behind you. So make sure we leave that out. So today, the first thing we're going to do inside of our glass is you're going to use a sugar cube. So the first cordial that we're going to use today is Lillet. Uh, Lillet is a aperitif that's used in mixing to kind of soften cocktails or be drunk on its own. Um, the measurement you want to do on this is just a quarter ounce, and you want to be very careful with it because you don't want to overpower anything. And you also don't want it to take away some of the nuances that you're going to get from the chartreuse. So the chartreuse is also going to be a quarter ounce, so make sure you use your jigger. Quarter ounce, and then we're going to add that just right into our dry shaker as well. Um, the last thing that we're going to add to our dry shaker is going to be some citrus segments. Make sure you have fresh lemons and fresh limes. Uh, you're just going to do small quarter inch segments. Make it nice and easy to squeeze right in there so you don't overpower. You're going to use two of each um, because that yellow chartreuse that I just added is very herbaceous. You want some citrus notes, uh, which the label will have some, but not enough to kind of really brighten the cocktail up. So two lemon and two lime segments that we're adding now. And basically, that's the base of your cocktail. Um, so once all the ingredients are, make sure you have a towel around as well because you're going to get a little messy with some citrus juice. Uh, with those in the shaker, you're going to add your ice into it. And you want to shake this for about 15 seconds just to get all the flavors melded into each other. And you don't want to go much longer than that because what will happen is, like I said before, it will start to get watered down a good amount. And you want these flavors in the shaker to stay nice and vibrant and bright. So you're going to pour this into your cocktail glass, whichever one you choose. Just slowly pour it in. Uh, everything is measured out in here, so you're not going to over pour. Uh, you should get about an inch to an inch and a half worth of liquid in the glass that you're using. And with this, the only finishing touch you're going to do is today we're going to use a regular sparkling uh, champagne from Chile, just a nice, bright, crisp. And you can use your own discretion at this. If you love champagne and you want to use a nice champagne, be our guest. It's your decision. Um, most sparklings, you just when you're looking for them, you just want them to be nice and bright and refreshing. Try not to go with maybe an aged or a vintage champagne. They'll just be too intense. Um, and this is it. And the only finishing touch that you're going to add to it is just to give it a nice little bitter note to it is some orange bitters. All you want to do is just two little dashes inside your cocktail. And if you'd like to get fancy, like I do, you can add just a little bit of an um, of a lemon twist to your glass to just give it some citrus essence on the side of it and also just a little nice pretty look to make it look like a beautiful cocktail. So enjoy.